Are you ready to meet the greatest addition to Minecraft ever? Yes? Here it is. <laughs> yep, the llamas, they're here. Press Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back into Minecraft where today we are playing the brand new Minecraft update that came out today, also known as Minecraft 1.11. And one of my favorite features of this feature packed update are these guys. Everyone, say hello to Ronnie the Llama, who is my new best friend. Aww. Oh, um, Treos, don't worry. You are my best friend as well. This guy's more of a pet, so, um, you're not really my pet, are you? Aww. No, not, not really. <laughs> but yeah, say hi to Ronnie. This guy is a brand new addition into the vanilla version of Minecraft. So these guys will be found wandering your vanilla worlds very, very shortly. But they don't just walk around. They do other cool stuff as well. So while they are roaming around, if you want to tame one to become your friend, all you need to do is hop on their back as many times as they allow you to. Exactly like a horse until it's happy with you. And oh, geez, Ronnie, what are you doing? Ronnie, Ronnie, stop this. <laughs> but the big difference between llamas and horses is that you can't control where a llama goes. Ronnie! Ronnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Behave yourself. But yeah, you can't control where the llama goes, so you can't actually control it just like a horse or a, a pig with a carrot on a stick. They just follow you or are designed to follow you while you hold them on a lead. But why would you want to do that if you can't ride them properly? Well, inside this chest, I have the secrets to using a llama to its full potential. First off, you're going to need some carpets, and then you're also going to need yourself a chest as well, because just like a donkey or a mule, what they're called in Minecraft, you can saddle these bad boys up with two saddlebags, which means when you shift and right-click them, you'll have some personal space to spare on your llama. Now, I think you can increase this. I'm not too sure. Or it might actually depend on the size of the llama. I'm not 100% sure because when I tested this earlier, there were nine slots of inventory. So I'm not 100% sure how you make that bigger. But what you can also do is dress them up. So let's give him a nice magenta outfit. Ronnie, Ronnie, you're looking beautiful. He's got a necklace. He's got a headdress. He's got himself a really, really nice saddle. I guess you call that. And he's got his saddle chests as well. Ronnie is looking fabulous. So you can use any color carpet to be able to decorate these guys. I'm going to change this one to a nice blue. And they all have their own kind of unique style, which is really cool. Because look at this one. The blue has two necklaces, which is very nice and suits you a lot, Ronnie. But one of the coolest designs I found was actually with the green carpet, the dark green, because it's got a creeper face on the back. How cool is that? So you can ride your llama in style if he decides to behave himself. So if I grab a lead, I can just pull him around. He's actually pretty speedy as well, which is quite cool because he can just carry all of your stuff, look super awesome, and you can drag him around and put him on a fence post whenever you need him to just chill out and have a good time. Now, something cool about the llama's behavior is they actually follow each other. So if you are dragging along one llama on a lead, the other llamas will follow, which is really, really cool. So let me grab this llama. Let me grab this wolf as well because there's some there's some beef between the llamas and the wolves, but we'll get to that in a second. So yeah, let's pop down a couple more llamas. You can get baby llamas as well. Look at this guy. The baby llamas are one of the cutest baby animals in Minecraft. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. His legs move so fast. It is insane. But if we grab old Ronnie here and drag him along, watch. The llamas will instantly get into a formation and start following each other. How cool is that? Another minute I've managed to get up to 10 llamas following in this way. So if you own multiple llamas, you can hook them up with saddlebags and then carry them all along with you with just one lead, which is pretty cool. Ronnie, don't you escape from me now. I need your help here. <laughs> so llamas look cute. They are pretty awesome. They are passive animals, so they won't attack you whatsoever. And they can carry items and look amazing when you dress them up. But they have one more absolutely amazing feature, which involves the wolves. Now, I did mention that wolves and llamas don't get on. So if they lock eyes in the wild, they will run in the opposite direction. Well, the wolf will, the llama will chase it down and do his special attack, which is, which is spitting on people. Yes, 
the llama has a spitting attack. And the really cruel way I'm going to demonstrate this is by shoving a wolf into this pen that he cannot get out of and see what the llamas do. So you ready, llamas? Are you ready to meet your nemesis? I think they're ready. They don't really say much. They say weird noises, but that's pretty much it. Right, three, two, one, boom. Oh no, I've spawned him in the wrong way, but he's going to run away. There he goes. <laughs> I didn't spawn him in the cage properly. And it doesn't look like these llamas are actually paying much attention to him. I think we need some more wolves. Right, let's put one there. Llamas, llamas, come and see your buddy. Jeez, I'm trying to demonstrate what you do to wolves. Look, come over here. Wh why are you disobeying me? <laughs> Fine, Ronnie, you come with me. Spit at this wolf. Spit at this wolf, Ronnie. There we go, spit. <laughs> why are you? Ah! Oh! oh my goodness, he scared me. <laughs> they started spitting at each other. You're supposed to spit at the wolves. Ronnie, stop this. Ronnie, you're, you're misbehaving again. You're hitting the baby one. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. So they do spit at the wolves, but if they hit each other, they will start spitting and fighting amongst each other as well, which is absolutely terrible. Will you spit at the wolf, please? Oh my goodness, this wolf is angry. He's so angry. Look, he's locked in the cage and he's getting spat at. I'm actually getting spat on myself, which is absolutely gross. But how awesome is this? It's absolutely incredible. They have their very own, very, very unique spitting attack, which is awesome. Oh, no. He just died before our very eyes. Ronnie, you better not die here. And don't get killed by this baby one, because that's going to be a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? Can they take down this wolf before he kills Ronnie? No, Ronnie, please don't die like this. Please, please just spit on him and kill him. You can do it. No, Ronnie. Ronnie, no. So as you can see, they drop their chest. They also drop their carpet and... They drop some leather for good measure as well. So the spitting attacks don't actually do that much damage, but they do a pretty good job of getting rid of wolves and apparently killing each other too, which is absolutely awful. And it also looks like Treoris has ran away because he didn't want to get spat on, which you know what? I don't blame him. I have got spit all over my face right now. It is disgusting. But anyway, guys, this is one of my favorite brand new features of Minecraft 1.11, also known as the Exploration Update. Now, I'm going to be doing some more videos on this to cover the other features, but... What do you guys think of the brand new llamas? They put up quite a fight with their brand new spitting attack. If you love them as much as I do, then please leave a big fat like on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing. Do join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, guys, I'm going to get out of here because the llamas are spitting all over me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Treyarch. Let's get out of here. Goodbye.